Welcome back to a brand new episode of Ram Talk. Today, we welcome our guest, Na Hun, who was nominated for excellence in academics and the arts. Well, now welcome to the show. Hi, JL. <laughs> Hi. Well, let's begin with your success in art. I was told you did not enroll in an art course until just last year. What made you get involved? So, uh, I've always been involved in the arts since I could use my hands and make art. Really, like I've I've loved creating art for so long. And um, the unfortunate thing was, like for my first two years of high school, I just couldn't take an art class because. My schedule was just packed. Uh, right, right. Mm -hmm. Had to take all my core classes. Had to do all my required electives. And fortunately, Miss Sutton saw my potential when I would go to art club and create art um, there. Uh, and she allowed me to skip all the other art classes to take portfolio art in junior year. And wow. I am forever grateful for that opportunity. Honestly. <laughs> Well, that's absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm. um, I know you are currently in the APR course with Miss Sutton, whom you mentioned. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that experience? Uh, one word to describe APR, stressful. Uh, it is so stressful. Oh, my God. Uh, just because <laughs> the, the, the deadlines are pretty strict. Mm -hmm. And it's just the process of making art can be so chaotic when it comes to those deadlines. But it is such like a great experience overall. I love being in AP art. And it's funny because like anytime I told people I was in AP art at the beginning of the year, they would be, they'd always be like, oh, that must be an easy It's edit. easy, yeah. Absolutely it's not. not. <laughs> There's so much like thought and so much um, thinking that goes into like doing all the projects that I've been doing in AP art. And it's just an incredible way to have my, you know, my brain juice is going, have my creativity flow exactly. onto like the page or like the canvas. And I just love being in the class. Yeah, I mean, it, tr it truly takes a lot of skill mm -hmm. um, and effort to really um, excel yeah, in, in art. Mm -hmm. So aside from art, you have also been heavily involved in the drama club, as we've all seen on, we've seen you on stage. Yeah. Um, according to Mr. Alshai, you have played a major role behind the scenes with prop design. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about what you most enjoy about this role? So prop designing um, is a way of me going outside of my comfort zone when it comes to my art creating because I'm mostly I'm illustrating. Um, but like prop design is a really fun way to like envision what you want uh, for the stage mm -hmm. and how you want to have something enhance the performance. And then to be able to put that into practice with like the materials, the process of creating it. Of course, I'm not doing all these like props alone I'm doing them with the rest of the club and that's also a really fun experience getting to like collaborate right right like that. Mm -hmm. but yeah like I love like I have loved like making the props that I've made in um, the past performances it's just a good way of like um, you know con contributing to the performances in that way too yeah I mean we've we've all seen the props on stage they mm -hmm. look absolutely incredible so awesome job um, on top of all of that that we've already talked about you are also taking five AP classes that's incredible um, how do you manage all of that um, it's very difficult, really, to manage all those classes, but really what I've been doing and what I've been trying to do is, you know, work on my prioritization, my time management skills. It's, it's all about that, really, especially right, right. with, mm -hmm. like, all those classes and all the work that they give out. Um, and I rely heavily on knowing whether, like, I can make the deadline or not and knowing if I can get something done over the other and if maybe something is just better off unfinished for the night because I can't just be slaving over right, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. work for like hours and hours. But yeah, uh, time management, prioritization, that's really the key thing to all AP classes. <laughs> and from personal experience, I know, um, you know, it takes a lot of effort um, and work to, you know, to take an AP course. So I really mm -hmm. commend you, you know, for handing, you. handling all of these AP classes. Thank you very much. Well, um, do you have any plans for next year? Uh, after I graduate high school, I plan to study to become a history teacher. Well, incredible, incredible. Mm -hmm. um, I just think like history is one of my most favorite subjects in high school. I love learning about history. I love talking about history. A lot of my peers may uh, know that. Um, and 
I think history is one of those subjects too that really requires passionate um, and like very involved like teachers, um, especially to get their classes like interested in something like that. And where do you so where do where do you see yourself teaching um, after college? The end goal is to teach here at Classical. Wow, that's incredible. I mean, <laughs> yeah. maybe we'll see you walking around the halls in Classical as a Hopefully, teacher. Hopefully, yeah. So. I'm hoping to see all my um, old teachers here as my co-workers soon. That'd be very fun, I think. That, that would be absolutely <laughs> incredible. Yeah. Um, and one question that I always ask all seniors um, is, can you describe your senior year in just three words? Um, in just three words, I have frustrating, chaotic and also rewarding, very, very rewarding. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> well, thank you so much now for being a guest and um, I hope you know all your goals um, come true. Thank so. you, glad to be here. Well, that is all for today's episode of Ram Talk. I'm JLBito and I'm out. <laughs>